Chrome 48 allows users to take immediate action on notifications with custom buttons. The new Developer Tools Security Panel makes it easier to debug mixed content issues and ensure your site is properly served over HTTPS. And you can now add presentation mode to mobile apps, easily casting content to a second screen. These are just some of the new features for developers in Chrome 48. Let's dive in and see what's new in Chrome. Until recently, re-engaging with users of your website has been a challenge, often involving bulk email. But browser-based notifications changes that, allowing you to send users timely, relevant notifications. For example, letting them know that tickets to their favorite band are on sale or about a new chat message. In Chrome 48, you can now add custom buttons to notifications, enabling users to complete the task entirely within the notification. Imagine that previous example, a notification that tickets to your favorite band just went on sale with a Buy Now button. To add buttons to your notifications, add an array of actions, including a title and action ID to the notification info object. If the user clicks on one of the actions, that information is passed in the notification click event. Be sure to provide buttons that are specific and allow users to quickly respond to the notification and make sure that they're different from the default action. Peter Beverloo has a cool sample you can try at the URL below. We all expect sites that deal with our personal information to be served over HTTPS. It's just standard practice. As we start to build apps that take advantage of powerful features like Service Worker, it's simply a requirement. Some APIs that we've used for years without HTTPS, like geolocation or device motion, may require secure connections in the future. HTTPS helps to protect the integrity of our apps and our users' information. There's a new security panel and developer tools to help with this. At a glance, it tells you whether the page is secure or not and can help you diagnose HTTPS issues. It shows information about the certificate, the protocol and cipher, and the status of all of the sub-resources. To see how it works and some of the different errors it'll help you debug, open the new security panel and developer tools and check out httpsbadssl.com. How often have you gathered a group of friends or coworkers around your phone to show them the latest meme or work video or something? Wouldn't it be awesome to be able to send it to a second, larger screen directly from your phone? Chrome 48 on Android now allows sites to present to Google Cast devices using the standard space presentation API and the Cast Web SDK. The presentation API allows you to leverage a second display while using your mobile device as the controller. Not only to move between slides or choose which video plays next, but as a game controller or input device. Imagine a racing game that uses your phone as the steering wheel or an interactive tutorial to help students improve their math skills. There's some other cool new features in Chrome 48, like networkinformation.downloadmax, which provides the maximum bandwidth of a device. One use case, warn users about a large transfer on cellular networks that might eat up their allotted bandwidth. And there's the new get all methods that simplify bulk index DB interactions. These are just some of the new features in Chrome 48 for developers. Be sure to check out the description below to get links to more details and learn about some of the other new features. If you haven't already, subscribe to our Chrome Developers YouTube channel to stay up to date with the latest news. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 49 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.